going to start the notes here. This is relative motion. This is relative motion. And it's just motion of an object relative to frame of reference. You've already talked about this a little bit. We're just ramping it up a notch because, of course, that's how physics works. Every time you think you have it, we make it more complicated. Ah, congratulations. Pardon? Um, then you better buckle your seatbelt and, you know, dig in. So if you're standing still on a street and a car goes past you and that car is going 50 miles an hour, the car looks like it's going 50 miles an hour. If you're driving in your Flintstone car, if you're driving 25 miles an hour and that car goes past you at 50, it looks like it's doing about 25. And you've all experienced this. Um, if you're going, you know, on 11 or you're out on the highway and, you know, somebody, you're doing the speed limit and somebody creeps along passing you. you know, they're going just a little over the speed limit. If you're doing the speed limit and somebody goes flying past you like you're standing still, they're going significantly over the speed limit. You know this intuitively, right? Like you get this. Well, now we're just going to put some numbers to it. So as long as everything's going in the same direction, life is pretty good. Life is pretty easy. So of course, what are we going to do? Send them in opposite directions. Right. Sorry. Yes. We all get it. It's all good as long as everything's going in the same direction. Now, so let's see. 20, well, we had 25. We said 25 north, 50 north, and I'm abbreviating and making a horrible, you know, 25 meters per second north, 50 meters per second north. Sure, we get that, you know, you subtract one from the other. The other part only looks like it's going 50. Let's go to the next page. So let's say you're going 25 meters per second south, and the other car is going 50 meters per second north. What does that look like? Oh, OK. <laughs> Um, sort of. It's, it's harder to determine somebody else's velocity if they're coming at you. It's really easy if you're driving past them. If, if the cop's doing 65 and you pass them, like they know you're going faster than 65. I mean, they have, they have I, I think they have pretty sophisticated radar stuff these days, but it is, it is harder, you know. Okay. So this seems really complicated. It's actually not. All this actually is is more vector crap. That's all it is. So let's look back to our first example. They're going 50. You're going 25. But you're all going in the same direction. Okay. In these problems, where, where we had vectors before, the resultant always goes from what? The tail of the first to the head of the second. Well, in these, and, and, and I'll say later in a few slides that there's no easy pat way to do it, but here's, here, with the ones where they're in, a, they're in the same plane, they're on the same axis, if you line up the tails, you get your answer. So if we take, and I made a serious error here. I don't know that I can separate. Oh, I can. If we line up the tails of these things, the difference that's left is the apparent velocity of the other car. Okay? Easy to do graphically. If we go back to our example where you're going in opposite directions, and you're going 25 meters per second south, they're going 25 meters per second north. 
if we line up the tails of these two things, we get our, our answer, 75. Um, and I can tell you a story about the age at which I learned about relative velocity of two vehicles coming towards one another. My dad was a ham radio operator. Anybody out here know any hams? A ham radio operator. Amateur radio. More reasons I love ham. Um, amateur radio. And these, these were, um, and it was predominantly guys at the time. And it's, you know, what's left of ham is, is a mix of males and females these days. Um, so hams provide, they can do a lot of things. I mean, a lot of these people built their own radio equipment. My dad built radio equipment, did electronics in the garage. Um, pro they provided emergency communications. So before we had cell phones and cell phone towers, what you have is a network of communications that's run by just citizen volunteers. And so if you've got a ham license, there are usually little antenna repeaters in every county in the state. And um, like there were big tornadoes that swept through in here in 85. Um, the hams went out because the phone lines were all down. There were no cell phones. There was no wireless communication. The hams go out and they run relay between citizens and other, you know, I mean, including like welfare calls. You get a ham who, you know, says, hey, I'm from, you know, Boise, Idaho, and I've got some folks in the community here who have relatives in Columbiana County. They want a welfare check. Does anybody have any news on Nancy and Lloyd Hayes? You know, I mean, just that kind of stuff. So, great system. Well, anyway, um, many hams had mobile rigs, and you have a little extra antenna you put on your car. So you get to drive around the world with this extra antenna on your car, which, you know, as a nine-year-old, you think is the stupidest thing ever, and probably everybody's looking at you. They're not. So those antennas were held on with a magnet. Okay. And that magnet mounted to the roof of your car with the antenna. And on vacation, well, because that was, that was my, my dad. <laughs> Down the road we went. Um, and, and that was rated to hold up to speeds of like 70 miles an hour. Okay, So as long as you're doing under 70, that magnet should hold the antenna to your car. And invariably, on vacation, on some two-lane road in the middle of wherever, um, we'd hear thunk, thunk, and Dad would have to pull over and fix the antenna and put it back. That happened when we were going 55 and we met another car coming 55. Because, and my father explained this to me at about the age of nine, but Dad, I thought it was supposed to hold until you went like 75 miles an hour. Well, when we're going 55 and they're going 55, the force on the antenna is like we're going 110. So, that's a relative velocity problem. That's all it is. Okay, and this is just a slide that talks about the fact that if you're both going 50 coming at one another, um, the velocity relative to one another is 100. That's pretty crazy. Answer yeah, that question. If you're both going north at 50, what's your velocity relative to the other car? Zero. As far as the other car is concerned, you're standing still. Freaky. Okay. You can jump from one car to the other, exactly. This is the flatbed truck, you know, spy versus spy scenario, etc. Yeah, don't do it, please. Um, we're going to watch. Will this link work in here? No, it will not. Okay. okay, so number one, we have a train that's traveling at 15 meters per second relative to the Earth. We don't know if it's north or south or whatever, but it's 15 meters per second relative to the Earth. We are told that there is a passenger in the, in the last car of the train. Um, well, they don't really have those anymore. Who throws... <laughs> Who throws a baseball at 15 meters per second opposite the motion of the train? What's the velocity of the baseball relative to the earth? So, we have motion as it leaves the thrower's hand. Yeah. Well, 
No, it'll appear to kind of hang in the, it'll move within the cab while it's going to hit if it's the back of the train. I don't like that, but it'll hit the wall. Um, but if, if this, tr yeah, if this was totally open, you know, it would appear, you know, from the perspective of the earth, that's like their head, like their tr Okay, so if, if they throw it off the balcony, we'll do that. There. As soon as the train starts, he jumps and uh, he's like sitting on a fire extinguisher and he turns there. it on and he just like flies through the cab of the train. What is this? <laughs> it's like on a subway, like this guy's on a train and as soon as it starts, he like, jumps up and he's like sitting on a fire extinguisher and he turns it on. Is this in a movie? No, no, this was like okay. an actual video. Okay, this is YouTube? Yes. <laughs> I, I feel like it was real. It, it could be well, fake. let's watch.